Hello, hello, hello. Monday morning. Monday morning where all the possibilities are possible. They sure are. We are here, David Mustard and... Jenny Mustard. And we are the Good Times Podcast. We are. Applause. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, if you're on YouTube watching this, please give us a thumbs up. You always do. And it always helps a lot. So, please uh, help us with that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jenny, you're like, am I even here? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, also, of course, uh, I love to read nice reviews okay, on so you different were... podcast apps. Yeah. Jenny's, Jenny's <laughs> clear, clearly like. thinking about something completely different right now. <laughs> no, I'm thinking about lovely reviews. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh, you remember the other week when we went to finsbury park i do first time in finsbury park right no can it be yeah i, I, I don't know this city remember. is so large yeah exactly it's a it's a big park here in, in london we walked down from highgate from muswell hill something like that and walked down to finsbury park had a coffee and stuff mm -hmm. and we went to uh the public toilets there mm -hmm. uh which were not the worst not the best well, yeah. they, they were definitely not the best. No, no, definitely. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's like, you know, I've seen. I I, I went to uh, the uh, the public toilets in Hyde Park mm -hmm. recently, mm -hmm. where you even pay to get in. Yeah. And all the toilets were flooded, <gasps> all of them, and there were just water oh, all no. over the whole floor, everywhere. No. Yeah, it was. Uh, what do you mean that the toilet bowls were actually full? Oh yeah, they were all full of brown water <gasps> like like to the brim <laughs> brown yeah and i'm like all of them yeah yeah How is yeah that all even of them possible? and i'm like i i don't even know because like if that happens to one toilet i'm like okay i understand that but mm -hmm. it's like because they they have a lot of people working in that park so i'm like they have to check now and then did someone go in and just spray all toilets <laughs> oh, David. Oh, my God. I can't even drink my coffee now. <laughs> too early in the podcast yeah, to discuss this. Too, too, I mean, I'm not sure if there's ever a good time in the podcast to discuss this. Anyway, when we were at, in Finsbury Park, there yeah. was a guy that was in charge of the toilets. Mm -hmm. He was sitting on a chair, <laughs> this, this, this old guy. Uh, very, 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 very sweet. Sitting, sitting on a chair outside the toilets, mm -hmm. and there was one line for women and one for men. Mm -hmm. Of course, the line for women were ten times as long. Yes. Um, and then, as soon as someone came out from a toilet, uh, he. I mean, I mean, like came out from the building, like not just came out from a toilet stall, but like you come out from the building because everyone was queuing outside. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it was outside. Yeah, uh, and. If a guy came out, he was like pointing at the next guy in line, like go in, and then now you go, now you go, you go, you, sir, sir, your turn, ma'am, go. go. And it was like <laughs> because it's like that. That's that's the whole thing he's doing. So it's like it's, it's like okay, that's what he's doing. I understand it. The toilets were cleaner, yeah. Therefore, yeah. <laughs> but but it was it was it was funny but that he, he was he was just sitting there constantly, like just like and go. And go. <laughs> because and he was sitting on his, on his little chair outside, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, this old man, he was very serious, very extremely serious. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he was like he was one, like he was a like a service person, like a, almost like a guard. Yeah, you know, he exactly. had his role. Yeah. But do you think he also was the cleaner of the toilet? I don't. I, don't, no, I didn't don't, get I, that. I don't no. think he was just the the person telling oh, you. So, so basically, if you're standing in line yeah. outside a toilet and someone comes out. And you're in the front of yeah. that line. You automatically tend to think, "Oh, now there's an empty stall in there. Now I can go in." Yeah. You tend to operate on a one out, one in <laughs> s sort of system, right? When it comes to queues. But it's great that he's but there because <laughs> because when a, a guy came out from from the from the toilet, yeah. I didn't think, "Oh, it's time to go in." I looked at the guy. I he looked at I looked at the he old guy will tell because, me when like, it's time. I'm I'm not. I'm not starting to walk before this guy yeah. points at me yeah. and says, now it's your turn. Sir, you go ahead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's but lovely then, though. Then he went on a break as well. He was like... So yeah, so I was at... We were, we were, we, they were standing in the boys' line. I was standing in the girls' line. And, and we were looking at each other, like laughing a little bit about this very, very serious man who is like pointing people and telling them when to go. He's doing a great and job. also laughing a little bit about all of us just taking it. We were just taking it. Yeah. Like, we accept this. We accept that no one goes in before the man points at you, right? Yeah, exactly. But then, mayhem 
ensued when the guy all of a sudden stands up saying like, people, don't worry. I will be back in just a couple of minutes. <laughs> and then he leaves. All of us in the queues were like, <laughs> are we supposed to, who, who is going to tell us when to go in? Who is going to point and say, madam, you go. But it went pretty well, right? When he actually I, think, I think we collectively uh, shouldered the responsibility of now again adopting the usual one out, one in system. Yeah. So it, 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 it worked quite well until mm. he came back. But as soon as he came back, he sat down. You could tell both lines kind of like took a sigh of relief. Order is back. The man exactly. will point. That's exactly what I felt. I felt that yeah. too. I, I was just looking at him like, soon he's going to point at me. And you feel kind of selected, right? When he points, Definitely. then it's finally your turn to get the point. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I did the other day? What did you do? I called uh, Ikea. Uh, because uh, uh, Oh, Swedish story. Okay, yeah, exactly. here we go. I, I called Ikea. That was a bit loud. Um, because we have been uh, buying the same candles for... 13 years probably yeah, yeah. accidentally vegan candles mm -hmm. from from ikea yeah uh, and we always buy because jenny uses a lot of candles mm. so we always buy a, 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 a big box because like you can't go into ikea because it's always far away from where you live so yeah. you have to order yeah uh so we order a big box full of candles yep the in interesting thing with ikea mm -hmm. you know one of the biggest companies in the world yeah but when you're ordering from them online, mm -hmm. they're doing everything so that you do, you shouldn't order from yeah. them online, which is super weird because no, it's like... No, this makes sense. Why if does you, it make if, sense? If you look at their whole idea of how they do business, yeah. it makes perfect sense. Okay, tell me. The whole the IKEA um, store yeah. is made up as a labyrinth. Yeah. You have to go through every single part of that store yeah, to, to get to out get, yeah exactly you cannot yeah. get out until you have seen everything, everything. yeah pretty and much and while you're walking that with your mm. big ass they have the big ass carts yeah the, they're so yeah, huge you, those you, carts. you 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 buy a bunch you of stuff yeah put, put, of course so they don't make money off of their cheap furniture because their furniture is cheap yeah. they make money out of their like normally priced Small stuff. Yeah. Some water glasses, some napkins you mm. put in this. Oh, there's another. That's a cute thing. That's yeah. a little jar. Let's put yeah. this in. And that's some how candles. they make the money. Yeah. So if you order online from Ikea, yeah. you're not going to uh, buy the things that they actually make money from. I'm making all this up, by the way. I have no mm. idea. But this is my yeah. my uh, theory. It's like if you buy a, a couch from, from Ikea, they're yeah. not going to make that much money. But if you go to the store and buy a couch, yeah, you're going to buy course. all the other stuff. But in 2021, I know you should have a good system for ordering and yeah. delivering online goods, even if you want people to come to the store, because there's not an IKEA store isn't like a supermarket. It's just around the corner. Yeah. It is hard to get to, to yeah. an IKEA. Yeah. Um, and if you um, and so it's always like when I order something from IKEA, mm -hmm. it the delivery time. For every company ever is like in London, it's yeah. like two or one to three days. Yeah. IKEA is like, oh, we'll deliver it in two weeks. Yeah. Which is super weird because it's such a big company. They should have sorted this out. But They're David, like, we'll deliver it in two weeks. Like, and also mm -hmm. the delivery cost is like a third of the price yeah. of the product. It's yeah. always like super expensive, uh, but the that's delivery what, cost. That's Even though we like, live in London, it's not like it, it, because it's far away or mm -hmm. anything like that. But that's why I'm thinking that you're saying like, oh, this is so stupid. But I do think that pe they have people who are actually thinking about these things. I don't think it's an accident. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Of course, like everything like uh, and then to contact Ikea is like one of the most frustrating yeah. things ever. It's like they, 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 they because they have hired, uh, you know, 100 people to figure out how to not being able to contact the company yeah even when you're calling when you're like clicking okay this thing this <laughs> yeah. thing sometimes you just after clicking like four times okay i think this is where i'm going mm -hmm. they just say thank you for a call uh check our store hours and it's like no that, that was that wasn't it and then they just ha hang up because it's <laughs> really? like yeah they really want you not to call <laughs> yeah and it's like of course they have figured out the correct system for that also, but I have to say though, mm -hmm. even though it's really frustrating, I didn't know it was this frustrating to call them. What a lot of our listeners already know, mm -hmm. and some might not know, mm -hmm. is that calling IKEA 
and bitching to them mm. is one of your favorite things to do in the world. Calling any company and bitching to them. But no, especially I, I, IKEA. No, but I, 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 you, 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 you do love to call up and be like extremely polite about complaints, right? <laughs> I have. And, and, <laughs> so uh, well, anyway, what happened this way, like, when, when I'm calling IKEA, uh, their customer service music, the music whilst you're waiting. Yeah. Also, they don't tell you uh, which uh, number in line you are Ooh. or how long it's going to take because that means that you're going to hang up yeah because you're not going to because you don't know how long it's going to take so yeah. you're not going to spend that I time that. so that's also like a Super tactic Super annoying. and the music they play mm -hmm. is abba music because ikea is swedish abba is swedish yeah. they're like that's fun yeah and also what i think they play uh, abba music because it's it's great i love abba but it's annoying because w when 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 you're calling customer service, you want calm music in the background, especially if you're like, okay, I, I'm gonna have to be in line for 40 minutes, so I have to do other stuff. I just have to have the phone on. Instead, yeah. I have ABBA music, like pop music, in Ooh. my ear throughout it, that time. How many different songs are there? Do they I, do I like many different ones, or do they do the same one over and over? Again? No, no, it, it was different ones. But, uh, but and that's also, true. that's also one reason why you will hang up quicker because you get so annoyed by just listening to ABBA when yeah, you're like yeah, exactly. to do emails at the same time or something. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, oh, forget about it, mm. basically. All of these things, not t telling the number you're in line, the yeah. ABBA music, just hanging up saying like, and having you click different, like confusing, yeah. you know, like, oh, is it about... Is it about customer service when it comes to bringing something back to the store? Mm. You know what? And you're like, you don't really. And even it, it was confusing already on the website on mm. how to get in contact with them, basically. Mm. Uh, uh, and then when I called, uh, I, I was in line for a while. And okay, why did I call? Mm -hmm. Because the candles we got, uh, when you lit them this time, you bought the same ones for years and years. Yeah. Uh, this time they smelled like, uh, like a light their fluid like gasoline yeah, yeah, like yeah, they yeah. had like a, it was it was super weird so you got like a headache yeah. from lighting them yeah so it's like it was a bad batch it was just like a yeah exactly mistake so so it, it's 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 such a tiny thing i'm not angry at anyone i'm not i'm just like oh can we just exchange these yeah. <laughs> basically yeah. that, that's that's my whole thing so i i uh, I, I contact uh, Ikea and I talk to this guy and I'm like, yeah, they smell like this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and he's like, okay, I'll have someone contact you within two days to sort this out. And basically, I just want, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't care. I just want them to send out a new batch, a, a new batch yeah, and yeah. take this back. Mm -hmm. um, and, and he... Uh, so he took it, it seriously, is that what you're saying? Like, yeah, he, he took it seriously, but the wrong way, basically. Mm -hmm. He thought it was like, I have found this oh, big like a problem. Safety safe, issue. Yeah, a safety All issue. Right. So then a couple of days later, I get contacted via email mm -hmm. by uh, a woman uh, saying that uh, they're taking this very seriously and stuff. Oh, they're and scared they're gonna, you're going to sue them or something? No, uh, <laughs> probably not. They're, they maybe, just, I, maybe like, oh, I got migraines from lighting uh, IKEA candles. I, I, no, it's, so, so I just emailed her because she was very serious about this. Uh -huh. And I was like, sorry, I think you're misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. I just want replacements. I don't want to, because she was like, I want to have photos of this. I want to like, you know, she was going to do a, like a big thing about it. Yeah. And I was like, I just was want replacements did, and did then you, did you as soon as I, I answer mm -hmm. i get one of these automatic replies that she's away for three weeks or oh, something no. like that <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, it was like oh no so uh so i'm i'm i'm, I'm like oh fuck this is annoying mm -hmm. um so i i uh i contact them again mm -hmm. this time via email because i don't want to um to call them again you don't and i found again. i found an email not through the online shopping system like through another system because you have to like you have to hack it yeah you have to hack you it have to, to, hack be able to, contact to talk them. to someone so i got an email uh and said you know i just want new ones blah 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 mm -hmm. and they were like oh fine yeah we'll send this those out immediately yeah uh and we'll take the other batch no and then they called me to set up a 
return batch for uh, a return shipping for the other ones mm-hmm. and i'm like okay this is like it's get going it's not a big amount yeah. of money yeah. it's just we, you should be just thrown them out <laughs> bought a new batch and be done with exactly. it exactly yeah. but it's like as soon as and you that's start what they want con- you to do yes David. as soon as you start contacting customer service immediately you're like in this three-week war with the biggest yeah. company in the world yeah, to, yeah, get, yeah. to get something that was like to, i should have just like, bought new ones like, do you want to do to <laughs> molecularly like like break down the smell and send them like a formula yeah. of it so, so they can so they call and and set up uh, uh an appointment to get the new the, the old ones back yeah i'm like fine, fine great get i will yeah. be home and then i get an email from another person saying that uh yes we will send out the candles on that date fine uh, uh great three weeks later i get an email from this woman <laughs> she uh, came back from holiday yeah exactly and saying uh we will send out uh, the candles again so now no one has they didn't pick up the, the okay the pickup was five weeks ago now yeah uh, they never came they never came to pick up the candles mm-hmm. And we have two batches of new candles. Oh, no. so we, we, we we have, have, where have you hide? Where have you hidden them, David? I haven't seen any of these. boxes and boxes of candles. Where have you stored this? We don't have <laughs> we any storage We yet. have candles for years to come. Have you like buried them in the garden or something that we Some, don't even have? Something where like that. They? They, they're, they're in our storage. I I basically hacked our storage just to fit all these candles, which is like, you know, yeah, such an annoying thing. So question is now... Are you going to call them to tell them about the mistake? Oh, no, of course not. Like, uh, you know, as soon like uh, I don't check my personal email all the time. Mm-hmm. And if I see something there, it takes a couple of days to answer. So when I answered her, oh, I already got replacements. She had already sent them out. And all she's right. like, well, I'm not going to you know, pick up the shipping She has came anything. home from holiday. She yeah. is rested and relaxed. She yeah. doesn't want to deal like, with this. She's like, I don't work in that keep kind of customer bloody, service. Keep the bloody candles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She did, never even answered me. So so we have three batches that are one. But one of the batches smell like gasoline. <laughs> exactly. That's it. Yeah. Mm. I'm still waiting for her to pick it up. Oh <laughs> yeah. It's, so what um, have we learned? Like, don't mess with Ikea. I don't. Like, well, this is the thing with every company. If If it's... If it's uh, uh, they 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 don't want you to complain about small things, yeah. uh, and if like yeah, if you complain about small things, it's gonna be annoying. And they're like you know, if we buy a table for a thousand pounds, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be like yeah, we we'll, we'll need to figure this out. If I buy some candles, I don't think it's gonna yeah be a it's big gonna, thing. Yeah, we like lesson learned. Don't don't mess with them if you don't have to. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> unless you're in the mood for some abba exactly so that's that's my story about uh, ikea mm-hmm. abba and candles mm-hmm. and can i talk about something that i've uh i found out recently all right uh, and it is that Ooh, in uh, this is a swedish story uh in sweden the uh, racist party that mm-hmm. we talked about before mm-hmm. uh the swedish democrats it's yeah. it's the the far right racist party in Sweden, they have around 17% in, in the polls. Yeah. So it's like they're the second or third largest party in Sweden. Mm. Uh, and they have started a new YouTube channel called Rix, uh, which is basically a, f- a news channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're, they're not saying that they're behind it, but they are. So it's like... They're, in what way are they behind it with money then yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. it's a propaganda channel mm-hmm. for them because like for for example uh you know the green party have a uh, probably have a youtube channel yeah where they uh say oh this is what the green party thinks yeah. and this is what we're doing about this and stuff yeah, yeah. the swedish democrats they have started a channel that is pretending to be a news channel so it is like reporters sitting there reporting stuff and only like you know the vile racist stuff basically oh my god and this are the only report on those things uh, they don't do I'll, like normal news as well i'll, I'll just kind of mask it i'll just check their channel quickly to see what like the latest stuff is so if you if you ask uh, the swedish democrats if this is their channel this mm-hmm. is their youtube channel they say yeah it, it is our youtube channel they're not, but so they're not lying nothing on the channel 
anywhere in links or anything that says it is their channel so because they're, they're it is trying a, to yeah it is a propaganda channel where they are producing news that are catered for their audience mm. so it, it it's like because first when i saw it i was like oh that's disturbing but like the more i think about it it's like oh no one else is doing this yeah it's like you know a fake news channel yeah just for propaganda it's it's, it's like fox news if Fox News was actually owned by the, by the actual Republican Party, uh, basically, right. so Oof. uh, so it's like, yeah, but is, it, how is this imagine, even legal? I, I, yeah, well, probably. Well, imagine if like the Green Party would be like, oh, we're starting a news channel, not saying that it's their channel, and just reporting on. You know, it's it's all like culture war, wars and stuff like that. Uh, but, but I mean, if the Green Channel, the, the Green, Green Party, Party did that, yeah. It wouldn't really matter because the news wouldn't be upsetting or <laughs> yes. like, you know what I mean? Probably not. So, so um, they have thirty nine thousand subscribers. So Oof. they're just a bit smaller than this YouTube channel, this this podcast channel we have. But they are growing quickly. Uh, and like the last couple of videos is uh, it's about is uh, Islamism and. Uh, it's about environment. It's about organized racism. It's about uh, organized the, it, racism. Well, it's 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 a lot of shit about the other political parties. Okay. Uh, and it's it's interesting that the four hosts of this TV show mm -hmm. or this this YouTube channel, it's four young women. Okay. Uh, and the people that vote for uh, for the Swedish Democrats are mostly men. men. But like, uh, if you but, look at Fox News, they also have quite a lot of young women. Yeah, and they but they also have the old dudes. They have just hired uh, a um, a Dutch woman uh, that does videos for them in English, so they can reach a bigger audience. Uh, and if you remember t uh, Tommy Lauren or something like that on on. Fox News and things like that. Yeah. Uh, this uh, young blonde woman who was looking at the camera, being very angry yeah. about. This, so the, this Dutch woman is kind of like. Yes, it's thing. it's a it's a copy of that. It's I don't want to talk about people's looks that much, but it's the blondest, most blue eyed person I've ever seen. All oh, right. <laughs> uh, and and uh, she's just talking. Oh, I can't. But but it's like it. uh, uh, I, I'm wondering like about uh, just this legally mm. if you are like a, a government party if you mm. if you if you if you are an elected party are you allowed to do propaganda without saying oh yeah we're paying for this are you allowed to do that like how can that be legal to not like well, uh, have to uh, demonstrate that this is our money going into this well what what i'm thinking is that uh, if you are a country that never uh, have come across this before Oh, there might not be any rules. There might not be any yeah. rules against it, basically. Uh, and uh, it's it's just it's just very it's so scary though. Bec but what I don't understand is like mm. you know if if you or me people who are, are who who disagree with this party mm. people who are not racist mm. you know if we look at this we're gonna be like what the hell is this this is horrible I'm mm. not gonna watch this channel anymore. Mm. Um, so the only people who will watch this and like be okay by with watching this mm. is people who are already voting for them yeah so they're already if they're already like, and they, people adjacent to that are you thinking that you're thinking the people like well racist people that vote for other parties but isn't it obvious if you watch look at this channel is like yeah this is racist propaganda do you know what i mean like the things yeah, that but they talk you, about you is like so... maybe you, you like that kind of stuff because you're like yeah i yeah, but if you already like, if you know about yourself that you are racist, yeah, you like racist propaganda. Yeah, why not? Why can't you say like, oh, by the way, we are the Swedish Democrats. We are the racist party because you know, if you like racist propaganda, you probably like the Swedish Democrats already. Yeah, why? But, why yeah, but, why but, are but the you, you, like you, you, being you, masking it as a news channel? Well, if you mask it as a news channel, uh, you can reach a, a, a bigger audience than people that vote for you. And if 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 I'm a regular person sitting at home coming across news clips that are saying the opposite of facts and logic <laughs> but it ta it speaks to me or uh, or yeah. like oh yeah this this makes sense then mm. then i can think 
Oh yeah, I heard that. I heard uh, it on the news. That Afghanistani uh, immigrants coming to Sweden are doing horrible things or something like yeah, that. You yeah. know, it's uh, and it's like yeah, I heard you it heard on, the, on news. the news, and and That's then it. you keep watching it, and then you become an extremist. Yeah, basically. Um, oh, it's so scary, David. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. it's it's like it's it's Sweden. It's it's like it's little old Sweden. You know. Uh, what is going on in the world? Like. What like why is this happening now? Mm. That like is it is it just because the the technology is there for it? Because like you know social media, it's not like social media is new. Why is it happening? Like the last two years, that whole radicalization thing. Like why hasn't it happened? Is it just because the algorithms are getting smarter or like playing? Oh yeah, I, I guess so as well. Like you, yeah, because it's all about the algorithms when it comes to what people are watching so yeah. uh, that's why people come uh, right wing extremists but uh, one thing i wanted to say about these people as well i I've, I've obviously looked at a bunch of these clips which are fucking horrible uh but they always quote um the swedish democrat politicians their tweets basically mm. so in their news segments they say a news thing and then they say and uh the parliamentary person blah 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 mm -hmm. said this thing about this topic uh, and right. another parliamentary oh. uh, person said this about this thing and they just p pick out tweets from their own party without saying oh. this is our own party this is us saying it this is our party they're saying the the party in the parliament is saying this the people from the party in the parliament not saying this is us we're saying this yeah these people are saying this, this because this, we are news we're separate from these guys this, even though they're paying us this should really should be legal how long do you think it will take before it becomes illegal in sweden to do this the thing is it is misleading uh, yeah. because it's, 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 it's hard to uh, unethical yeah exactly so how can they get around this? We, they, they, they don't have to shut the channel down, but it should say this is the sponsored this, by this is a a, a channel owned by, owned by yeah. a, a political party. Yeah. This is a political channel, yeah. nothing else. Yeah. Because if it says that, that's, that's, that's fine. Enough. Yeah. But but uh, why? Okay, but yeah. go, go, okay. So this is a horrible story. It's not exactly like good times, good news. So let's turn around. I want to know. Is this like if the algorithms are uh, responsible for all this shit, like mm. we're, that we're seeing so much horrible news and horrible stuff all the time in our feeds because yeah. we are? Do you think that we should learn how to hack the uh, our own algorithm? So if if I have a Jenny specific algorithm, right, mm. it's showing me stuff that that they think I want to see mm. whenever I'm going to different social media platforms mm. or whatever. It should be quite easy to school the algorithm to teach it. Right. Yeah, I, I at the, at the moment I watch a lot of uh, cute animals on Instagram, for example. <laughs> yeah. Follow a lot of uh, accounts that do cute animal videos. Yeah. You send me and stuff. You I, send me. I like them because then I will see more of them. Yeah. On TikTok, the same thing. I don't watch a lot of TikTok, but when I do, as soon as there's like something political or really serious that comes up, I, I just. Uh, press not interested and hopefully i can just get like some fun wholesome content on there because i think i think i mean if you're on twitter that's more or less impossible because all of twitter is horrible but uh, more <laughs> or less but uh, yeah. definitely i mean if i go to instagram what i get is just like calm interiors and people drinking coffee yeah it's like very calming to me i uh, i want to know from our dutch listeners do you know this this woman who is the uh, let's see what her name is, the English speaking one, if I can find it. Also, just like uh, if there are any countries out there that have rules against these kind of like party owned news, so called news channels. Yeah. Like if you have to then disclaim that this is owned by a political party. Yes. Uh, for our Dutch listeners, do you know her name is uh, Eva Vlardinger Brock? Vlardinger Brook. Yeah, looks like that at least. Probably pronounced it completely differently. So you're wondering if she's like a is, profile. Is, in... is she a famous like racist uh, profile in 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 uh, in the Netherlands, mm, for example? Mm. Because they have picked her to come to Sweden and do this yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, weird. Uh, anyway, is it time for a little break? Yeah. 
a big thank you, of course, <laughs> to our patrons. Yes, thank you to our patrons over on Patreon. You make this show happen mm. when Fox Television is trying trying to take us down. <laughs> you are there to pick us up. <laughs> good, right? Yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, and how, how is it going with the Fox Television? Have you do you have any plans on how to to? I'm 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 in contact with Fox Television at mm -hmm. this moment. We are discussing reasons, next we steps. Can't we can't about talk it. about it. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I Google Fox Television uh, controversy. Okay, there's a lot. So let's start with that another week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were we were trying to thank our patrons before we went on on to Fox Television. So uh, what can you get if you join our Patreon, David? We have uh, the uh, beautiful coffee cups. Yep. We have the stickers. Mm -hmm. We have T-shirts. We have uh, the the Discord chat. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens in the Discord chat? And bonus videos. Sorry. What happens in the Discord chat? Uh, we mostly discuss vegan food and witchcraft. Nice. Which is your favorite <laughs> vegan food or witchcraft if you have to choose? Witchcraft, I think. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, have you learned anything? Any spells? No, I, I've learned uh, how a coven works and stuff like that. How does coven, it work? Coven. How what? does it work? Well, you have to go to the Discord to find oh, out. Oh, cliffhanger! <laughs> Uh, clickbait but, but yeah you can get bonus witchcraft bit, witchcraft clickbait yeah why not but you can get bonus bitchcraft. videos uh, <laughs> bitchcraft I almost said that because I was going to say clickbait and witchcraft so uh, <laughs> bitchcraft if we ever get a private airplane which we never will but if we ever do I yeah. think we should call it the bitchcraft <laughs> that's a good idea <laughs> Um, but you can also get you, um, bonus videos. And as a matter of fact, we will shoot a favorites video after this episode where we yeah. talk about our favorite things of the moment. Of oh, the moment. Definitely. Yeah. Um, well, thank you to all our patrons. You guys and, are the best. Uh, let's get back to the show. Back to the show. And we are back. Yes, we are back. We are back. Mm -hmm. And um, there was uh, a couple in Florida that was going to get married. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yeah. And they thought it would be a great idea to have their wedding and their wedding reception, a two-day celebration uh -huh. uh, at a stranger's mansion. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, uh, what happened is that a Florida couple uh, tried to get married at someone else's mansion. <laughs> uh, I'm reading this from The Guardian. Uh <laughs> And it says, an ambitious Florida couple <laughs> attempted to hold their two-day wedding celebration at a mansion they didn't have permission to use. Uh, so basically what they did, uh, Courtney Wilson, the groom, and Shanita Jones, the bride, sent elaborate invitations to family and friends to attend their wedding at their dream home and estate, uh, with the ceremony on Saturday, brunch on Sunday. But they never got permission from the owner uh, to hold the event, because... They didn't ask him, and it's a private resident. It's like someone would knock on our door now and say, "Hey, we're gonna have a wedding here." But wait, so they didn't even try to like rent it or like pay no, no, him. They, or... they, the thing is, they had been, or the groom had been at the house mm -hmm. because uh, it's been on the market for sale. All right. So he's he's been to look at the house once. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He, he couldn't afford to, to buy it because it's like five million dollars or something like that. So mm. insane amount. Mm. But he's like. I'll have my wedding here. Oh. And then he... He just decided that. Uh, yeah, then, then they showed up uh, to have the wedding at the house. And, On the wedding day? Yeah, and here's the 911 call from the poor owner of the house. <laughs> Well, uh, not poor owner, the rich owner. The rich, the, the rich owner. That is a mansion, though, that, isn't it? It, it? Looks like a Disney castle, doesn't it? I was just gonna say because it. That that's the thing about these incredible, you know, Florida Mac mansions. Yeah. Like they're, it's it's like, you know, it, in here in central London, five million dollars get you a flat. Yeah. <laughs> but can uh, you imagine the, look, looking at this house now? Mm. Can you imagine looking at this and going like, "This is my dream home." <laughs> Well, no, not, you can't. Not my dream That's home, but dream I understand home. that other people would say it's a dream home. Well, but I mean, it, it it looks it looks like it's made out of marshmallow. Yeah, right. Yeah. It looks so fake. It doesn't look like it's a real building. Let's hear the nine one one call All from right. CBS Miami. CBS Miami, please don't take our video down. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's listen. I, I have people trespassing on my property 
and they keep harassing me, calling me, and uh, they say they're having a wedding here, and it's God's uh, message, and I don't know what's going on. All I want is to stop. Well, that was just part <laughs> So it's poor, God's message. poor guy, but yeah, that's also part of this. That this this guy Courtney Wilson, the groom, he says that it's it's God's message for him to have his. Uh, In what way? Like why? Why? Uh, why would it be God's message? Okay, so can I just like I I don't know about the mental health of this groom. Yeah, uh, but. Uh, there's, you know, with prosperity preachers and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, they're saying, give me 10% of your income, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, with with self-help and things like that, and we talked about law of attraction and things like that, and it's very often monetary. Yeah. Um, um, and there's a lot of that in probably a lot of religions, but in, in Christianity, there is like a lot of Christians that think that everything they do that goes like they're like oh god wants us to win the super bowl yeah. god yeah. wants me to win the gold medal in the olympics it's it's like oh well, god wants me to have my my wedding at this stranger's home in florida yeah exactly yeah. and it's like yeah but it, what happens if a hundred people say god wants me to win the gold medal in the olympics yeah. and it was god's plan if it didn't happen no but yeah. but it's like uh, there's there's it's it's not really following uh the word the, the of jesus the christ of jesus, yeah. <laughs> no, no exactly it's be a, humble give away your money it's yeah not really it's, the, it's yeah. more like a, a give me theme. any yeah, yeah exactly yeah so christianity this part of christianity is that just another form of uh a self-help ponzi Wishful scheme thinking, kind of yeah law of attraction yeah i guess yeah I guess. Because it doesn't have anything to do with religion. It's 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 more like I manifest this. It is about yeah, manifesting, right? That's it. That's it. Uh, but instead of thinking it's the universe or it's my ama amazing brain, you mm. think oh, it's because God wants this. Yeah. I mean, the the like if if you get rich and then you say oh, it was because God wanted it, that that doesn't matter. Like no one gets hurt from you thinking that. So I, like yeah. that's totally fine. But oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely. guess the issue comes when it's like oh, if I get an illness. That's because God gave me the illness, and that's where it starts getting a bit scary. Well, God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's true. That is the truth of the day. Yeah. yeah. Um, but do you know. Yeah, what I mean? but I've I've seen people on Instagram that uh, like have survived, um, you know, COVID, mm -hmm. and just say it's because God gave me strength. Yeah, that's and, that's and amazing. It's, you know? it's it's amazing. Yeah, but I'm like, did did the doctors do anything? I'm just, well, <laughs> just asking. No, but it's like, yeah, you know, I'm just yeah, yeah. like give, modern give, give medicine. Some, give some maybe cred, yeah, give some like, credit to doctors as yeah, well. Yeah, like well, not saying a word about really that. It doesn't really matter. That doesn't really no, matter. It, it doesn't much. really matter. But yeah. but it's like when when I that's the thing that comes up again and again, yeah. and there's nothing about like. Thank you to NHS. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but I think people have been thanking the NHS yeah. quite a lot recently, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> Jenny's like, I, I had enough of <laughs> NHS. <laughs> no, uh, the NHS, great. I fixed my eye when I had fixed that infection. Your eyes, yeah. Or was it God? Maybe, maybe God. It was God's message that you should be able to see me. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. No, but I, I like I think it's totally uh it's totally fine unless of course it means that you're it, like all religions totally fine unless it means that you show up at a stranger's house telling them that they have to like let you have your wedding there because yeah. other, otherwise it's yeah, God might be angry. <laughs> then then it becomes a bit problematic. <laughs> I wanna know what happened to the poor guy in the mansion. Did did the police come? What happened to the wedding? Oh, okay, Are they married okay, yeah, now? Uh, what, what's let the... me check the exact. Uh, they either left or the police came and moved them. But I find it quite surprising that this this guy, yeah, the guy who is trying to make this happen, yeah. He's actually told all the vendors who are showing like catering and stuff, flower people. He's telling all his friends and family. It doesn't say let's that me, let's people meet like at that this, are there. But... Let's meet at this place. Yeah. And they are like, yeah, that makes sense. Like, no one is going like, how did you manage to get, like, 
approval to have this wedding at this place. He's like, it was God's plan. They're like, makes sense. Yeah, well, maybe. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know the details because this is written everywhere as a kind of jokey, jokey, weird story. <laughs> but yeah, but poor guy in the mansion. I can you imagine the stress though of like people just showing up? Like we're having a wedding here now. Like no, this is yeah, my if, home. If there's like a bunch of people like at your gates or whatever, yeah. and you're like, no, 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 no. But did the guy live there, or was he just selling? Oh yeah, yeah. He, 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 he actually still, lives he there. He still lives there. All right. Yeah, yeah. So he wasn't like a vacant. No, place. no, no, no. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because then, according to UK law, he could squat. Can you imagine though if he just would have said like, yeah, sure. Come on in. The squatting laws of of UK uh, are they uh, like is that is that something that is only done here, or is there are a lot of other countries where squatting is is allowed in that way? I think there's a like you know in Germany they do the squatting thing, but it's not legal, right? I I don't know because uh, like I had never heard of squatting me until neither. we moved to the UK here, no, and uh, which basically is the action of occupying an abandoned or un- unoccupied area of land or a building. And because here in the UK, it has been like you know someone you know you and me we buy a house and go on vacation yeah then we we go on vacation because they're they are uh renovating the house or something like that mm-hmm. and then during the time we're away a someone couple of people just, just moves in breaks in and sits there. And, and uh changes the locks mm. basically mm. and they're like no now i live here and it, they- there's like you there has to be one person in the flat all the time. Yeah, or they something. can. So yeah. if, if three people move in, one of like squat, one mm. of them has to be in the place mm. forever because as soon as it's empty, you can like re squat it. Yeah, it's it it's uh, it's like some sort of legal loophole. Yeah. that is meant to work for abandoned buildings out in nowhere for so that they can yeah. be used. But yeah. can you imagine that though? If you're like, okay, so so we're renovating the house, so we can't live in it for two months because we're renovating our house. So you go live with a friend or whatever, mm. and then during that time, someone just takes your home, and legally they're allowed to. Yeah, because like it's 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 so weird because like if you and me like, <laughs> put a down payment on a house, yeah. like that's all our savings yeah. unless someone moves in there. But I just read here that the United Nations estimate in 2003 that there were 1 billion slum residents or squatters globally. 1 billion? Yeah. So that's uh, obviously very different from <laughs> three <laughs> students just yeah. <laughs> occupying a, yeah. a house in in uh, in Leeds. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. Uh, so but, I guess maybe that is like if you're on someone's property and you build yourself, uh, you know, a shack to live in. You know, like that you you're just being on someone else's land. Yeah, I, guess. I don't yeah. know exactly how it works, but yeah. probably something like that. Yeah. Uh, so, did you hear about the uh, the YouTuber and influencer that? that uh, is probably getting kicked out of Bali. Uh, the latest, when, when we're recording this, the latest news is that they are uh, going to be deported. Okay. But they haven't been deported yet. Mm-hmm. Where, uh, which country are they from then? She's Russian, I think, according to this article. And he is a Taiwanese uh guy that lives in the u.s i think okay so he uh, will be deported to the u.s and she will be deported to russia uh, if, or, if this or, happens uh, let's say lynn is reportedly from taiwan but lives in the united states and she her name is lisha online is a russian citizen mm. uh anyway uh what they did is that they he he has a prank channel. He has like three million followers, so it's like right. he's super big. It's not like when, because usually when it's like oh an influencer and it's like someone with three thousand followers, they just want to use the word influencer for clickbait, basically. But what about uh, her? Does she also have a YouTube channel? Uh, no, but I don't know if she's in famous on uh, on Instagram or something like that. Uh, so they're making a prank video in Bali where they live. Uh, well, or reside reside Mm -hmm. (laughs) you can say probably Mm -hmm. yeah so here here's the video basically uh the video is that you have to wear a mask to go into a store yeah like most places now uh and they uh get turned away from the store because she doesn't have a mask so she goes out into the car 
and paints a mask on her face, really well done, mm-hmm. and tries to go into the store again. So she's not. Uh, she's the, just wearing makeup, no mask. Yeah, and that's the the, the prank. prank. It's, so it's, it's, it's 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 just this is this isn't the biggest thing in the world ever. It's like such a tiny it's little. Not, it's not like thing. even, and but the the prank <laughs> makes no sense because it's not funny in any way, right? I don't really understand. You can call it social con- experiment. <laughs> But why? It's just tricking someone that you're wearing a mask when you're not. It's yeah, just a useless, yeah, it's it's it's, it's not thing. a fun. Yeah, it's, no. it's 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 not like these people are so evil or anything like that. It's just like but it's they, they just wanted to do a fun. thing. I yeah. guess. Yeah, but look at the video here. Right. Uh, I'll put a little bit more white there. Yeah. Look okay. on your left, right. Wow. Looks like she's wearing. Uh, look at these. It looks so real. <laughs> Very real. <Wow. laughs> really looks really good. <laughs> Even though you can see her face. You can see her, yeah, yeah. you can see her nose and stuff. And, uh, They're scanning a temperature. temperature and she's, and go- she's walking straight in. into the store. And then she's just walking around the store <laughs> without her mask. Can, can, can. And you notice like no one's actually looking at you? <laughs> so, no yeah, so she's walking around yeah. and people yeah. think that she's wearing a mask. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And this video was re uploaded by US and UK Updates, a channel with 37 subscribers. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So, thank you for showing us. Let's the see if video. they're going to try to steal our money now. <laughs> no, I don't think like so. Like Fox <laughs> they, don't, they don't own this footage. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, so, okay, so now they, they got found out because they. Um, because they posted the video, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. They posted the video. They've taken the video down now. I don't think they posted it to YouTube. I think it, because it's it's uh, shot in uh, vertical. Yeah. Uh, so they probably did it for TikTok or something like that. Uh, he says, uh, the intention to make this video was not at all to disrespect or invite everyone to not wear a mask. Uh, I make this video to entertain People, because I am a content creator and it is my job to entertain people. It's not we job promise to break the law, not. To, we promise not to do it again. It's like, it's it's such a. This is this is harmless. So, but, <laughs> but anyway, it's not of, harmless. Of, of course, though. she could have given COVID to a bunch of people. No, and they that's died not what I talk about. In, no, in, yeah, that's not what I, I, I'm more talk about. The the way of like disregarding this rule as a funny thing and then saying that it's not important to wear a mask it's more that kind of thing it's irresponsible in how you portray yeah uh, yeah it's irresponsible yeah it's It's not evil no 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 it's It's not evil it's irresponsible yeah Yeah. and And not not even funny yeah well i don't think it's that harmless though harmless i don't think it's harmless but um the thing is (laughs) usually (laughs) when you hear news stories about people maybe being deported Mm. it's like it's like you really, really hate the people who are trying to deport someone. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, uh, people that want to deport the immigrants from Sweden yeah. or from the UK mm. or whatever. And usually you're always against <laughs> yeah. deportation. But In this, this case, though, I'm not like, I'm not really, I understand Bali. I'm like, yeah, I, th- I, I this, get you. I this get isn't, you. The, the, isn't the first time that Bali tries to uh, deport influencers. Yeah. Uh, because... Everyone, because usually, I, like, I, th- I think, I think I read a statistic that ninety nine percent of people that live in Bali are influencers. <laughs> <laughs> because I think that like, usually, if you look at like um, touristy countries, if you mm. look at Spain, Spain is like, ah, oh, we hate tourists or whatever. Yeah. Bali is like, no, no, we don't hate tourists. We hate influencers. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a love hate. Why do they come here? Yeah. No, but it's uh, it's. Uh... But you know what this story makes me think of. The other day I had this like really, I think we were like, watching a movie or something and I had this like really weird memory. Sorry, sorry it says here in the article, I read, Bali, which relies heavily on tourism, which is like, yeah, it's one of those places that like tourism is everything. Mm-hmm. And every influencer goes to Bali to live for a couple of months uh, and and therefore gives them more publicity and yeah, all more of these to, people so, yeah, of go course there it's all great. the time. Yeah. yeah, super good and also bad in the same Yeah, like, probably not for pros, everyone pros who lives cops. there because a lot of people that live there are probably like like people pros in Spain that say, yeah. fucking leave. I wonder yeah. if people in Iceland say that as well with, about all the tourists coming there. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think there, so? There's enough space on Iceland. Well, it's just a small island. <laughs> but there's no people. <laughs> True, but there's nothing. <laughs> yeah. I think they make enough money on on tourists to be okay with no. it because the tourists in iceland they don't go they don't go to the cities to have city urban life 
They just go in the wilderness. Let them go out in the wilderness and have There's fun. There's no wilderness. It's just it's just the uh, They go into the the hot springs. Yeah, exactly. And they look at some mountains. That's it's harmless. That's fine. As long as they don't litter. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's fine. True. But I don't think the tourists that go to Iceland, mm. I don't think that they are the type of tourists that litter. They don't strike me as the littering type. But but S- Swedish uh, young people that go to Spain to party, they, they litter. litter. And they vomit. <laughs> And British people and German yeah. people. Yeah, vomit and litter. Uh, anyway, this story about mm-hmm. being this reckless, irresponsible, yeah. it reminded me of something I thought about the other day. I had this memory of like being, you know, 15-ish, that type of age, where you're like, you're, you're kind of adult enough to make your own decisions. Mm-hmm. You don't have as much rules from home anymore. You, you can go about and do your, your thing. Yeah. But your brain is not ready for it. Your brain is not ready for the responsibility. So you do such stupid stuff. And I remember, like, not stupid stuff as in being, you know, jump, jumping on trampolines over... Over, over pools. Yeah, no, yeah. Not, not that kind of thing. I, I'm more, more like talk getting about, drunk when you're 15. Yeah, no, I'm in, uh, yeah, of course. But I'm more talk about not for my own personal safety's sake. Mm. I'm talking more about how much I annoyed other people by being a teenager. How, okay. how annoying I must have been because you know you would come home late at night you would walk home with your friends and like oh there's really good echo on this parking lot let's sing oh. you know those kind of things yeah or People like, are like shut up yes it's 3 a.m yeah uh, and in sweden everyone is so polite that no one ever shouts yeah. shut up so the 15 year olds can just sing in the middle of the night as much as they well, want well the thing is uh as a young person when i was younger mm-hmm. I never did anything like that. I was very never. quiet and polite. Oh, I had friends that might have done it, but I was always like... Fanning I, the flames. Yes, exactly. No, but, but I, I, I was always afraid of, you know... Uh, Authorities? No, yeah, that as well. But like, <laughs> just... just I, I didn't see the point with like being loud and obnoxious when my friends really? might have seen that and so you, you as well of course yeah i did because I there did. was no youtube back then so you yeah. had to have some sort of out being seen left, and heard like the, yeah yeah being seen and heard i think so because like i remember i okay so i'm trying to go back to that time oh, to investigate go. my own brain go at ahead. that moment i remember feeling free mm. like i can do this i can be out at night sing loudly i can be annoying i can say annoying things to strangers mm. and it's freedom. Hmm. I don't need to be respectful to strangers. I can just walk up and say, hey, do you have a cigarette for me? And if they, like, I, I, without shame, that's fine. I can do that. Even though if I'm being a bit obnoxious about it. Do you know, do you know what I mean? What's obnoxious about asking for a cigarette? I would, I don't think I would go up to strangers today and ask them for free stuff. Oh, if you're not homeless or something. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't like ask a stranger, like, can I have a bit of your drink? Do you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, that would like be weird. For, or like a cigarette. <laughs> I, may, I may ask. I'm, I might ask for a cigarette. There was a, there was a bad example, but you yeah. know what I mean. Like, just just before you were fifteen, mm. you were too scared f- of adults mm. to do stuff like that. Mm. And when I was thirteen, I wouldn't go up to an adult asking them for a cigarette. Mm. But when I was fifteen, all of a sudden I could do that. Yeah, and it you was were a, a rebel by then. Well, or just seeing myself as a an equal adult, so that I can also partake in adult situations mm. do you know what i mean i don't want like just be obnoxious singing loud having loud parties mm. i had so many loud parties mm. and i didn't I, and i think that we he, kept the this... sound volume low even though there was uh, complaints okay so maybe not that to. low then no but reasonably lower okay but anyway <laughs> i had loud like i didn't have loud parties like crazy as you see in like american high school movies where like, people are like throwing beer cakes out the window and like, jumping just, on trampolines yeah no no, no trampolines mm. whatsoever but still like i i i don't remember ever considering how many people i was disturbing by having a loud party or like i i, I could think like oh maybe they would call the police mm. but i would never think like I wonder if I'm keeping someone up now that might need to get up early tomorrow and who's oh, you a never. nurse. And I never thought about I that. I always did. You thought about all this, the poor people you were disturbing. You, yeah, you yeah, felt yeah. guilty about it. Yes. When okay. you were 15. Yeah. Oh my God, David's such a beautiful boy. I had friends that didn't. Yeah, I, I did. didn't. I didn't. I just thought like, oh, this is a fun party. I never, I, I never extended the thought to like 
everyone else in my apartment building, who are they? What lives do they lead? That says a lot about you. That says more about you, David. <laughs> To be honest, that says more about you. I don't think that most 15 year olds would like scan the apartments in their building thinking like, who are they and how much sleep are they losing? Because now I'm like- the I have more empathy than you. P probably, at least when you were 15. <laughs> you know because when i was when i was having a party i wouldn't like I, I wouldn't want anything to like dampen the spirit of the party okay hmm. i would go for it selfish but, but and now i'm thinking like okay if someone is 15 i don't care what they do like mm. i'm like go for it like yeah you will grow but out a 22 year old you're like fuck you yeah if someone is 22 and being obnoxious mm. and like i think the most obnoxious thing you can do is noise pollution i'm I'm so against noise pollution. I think mm. that's because I've been We've living... We've talked in... many times about Bluetooth speakers. <sighs> but you know, even worse than Bluetooth speakers are the loud engines. Loud <laughs> engines are my pet peeve. Yeah. I cannot stand them. Yeah. Because like, it's, it's one thing if you have, oh, like, I can't afford a quiet electric car, you know. Mm. I have this old car and it makes... A bit, a bit of sound, pardon me, you know, mm. that's one thing. But if you have one of these like extremely expensive sports cars who are constructed to have a loud <laughs> sound, yeah. I'm like, no man, that's not okay. Can you imagine just like going on a, like a, a, a joy ride around central London in one of those cars? How many people throughout that like 40 minute ride have you actually disturbed? How many, many babies have you woken up? How many cats have you scared? How many people who are working nights have you woken up? Like, how can you not like think about these things if you're an adult? And ap apparently they are adults because they're old enough to drive. Yeah, but I've met those people. You have? Yeah, people that don't care about anyone else. That, that or it's not not caring about anyone else. It's not understanding uh, that there are other people in the yeah, world. Yeah, like me when them. I was 15. Yeah, like, exactly. But you grew out of the, the thought just didn't like occur. Yeah. But how can you be an adult and, and be that way? Because I'm, I'm reckoning, like if you think about these people mm. who have those loud cars. Well, the, the, those are the people that become the billionaires in the end because they haven't thought about anyone yeah. on the way. I, I'm wondering mm. if you are one of those people who have one of those cars, do you, I don't think that that means that they never get annoyed when other people make noises. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That they, they uh, of course, get offended when anyone uh, does anything bad to them. So it's just yeah. like a glitch in the system? Oh, yeah. They have no understanding of other people at all. So they just never grew up from being like a, a selfish 15-year-old. Yeah, exactly. All yeah. Right. yeah. Interesting. A lot of people don't think. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Especially people with uh, expensive cars. <laughs> uh, that's why they are where they are. Uh, and I think that's the end of this podcast. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. It was a nice little moment. Yeah. Let's look at that camera. But we are going to now shoot a favorites video for yeah. all of our lovely patrons. Yeah. So if you are a patron, go on over to Patreon and um, look at what our favorite things of the moment are. Yes. I'm excited. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Give us a little <laughs> thumbs up. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>